Miguel Jimenez, and I'm going to be talking about a protest made by an NFL player. So, first of all, I want to start off by saying, can you guys please stand for just for one moment? Yeah. If you want to participate, it's up to you, but I'm gonna, we're going to recite the Pledge of Allegiance. So, uh, one, two, three. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Alright, so you guys are probably all wondering why I made you guys stand up for that, right? So, <laughs> uh, so yeah, this, this whole topic is basically about, uh, it's the ad national anthem, but right now, since my voice is kind of like, so I couldn't really sing the national anthem. <laughs> <laughs> it's difficult right now, so, yeah. Um, it's a, honestly, it's very meaningful. Uh, it has a lot of reasons, you know, everybody has their own reasons and their meaning behind the national anthem and the Pledge of Allegiance. Um, and, and Cap had his own views about that. Ka uh, Colin Kaepernick from the 49ers, uh, San Francisco 49ers. Um, so he decided to sit down for the national anthem because he felt that um, African, African Americans and people of color uh, were being, uh, um, were being oppressed and there was there's really much like a lot of police brutality going on. So he had his views about that. Um, first of all, um, he he decided to sit down on August 28th, I believe. And um, first he went unnoticed, and and for two games he he um, he sat down and nobody sat or said anything or even took notice of his sit down. But um, uh, he was trying to protest for the oppression and people of, um, of police brutality. Um, also, uh, once, once people started noticing that he was protesting for this cause, um, um, he got negative backlash and it turned into like a turmoil in its, in its own. So first I'm going to be talking about people who are for him who are basically supporting his cause, and this is one world, uh, one world war veteran who spoke about his um, protest, and he quoted this, it's better than reverting to violence. I always stand and uncover my head or place my hand over my heart when I hear the national anthem. I also have said graciously that the last line of the anthem is play ball. Um, because usually it is during a uh, uh, sport event that you hear the national anthem. That's usually when you hear it, and and people have been very um, brutal in criticizing what he has done because it's on a national stage like that, and it, and it brings a lot of attention, and it's both negative and positive. But cool. so sell, sales skyrocketed from his jerseys after the come down of his negative reviews and and that was both bad and good for the team because first they started basically um, burning his shirts at first and then they started selling again and that was the positive. Um, Obama himself also even came out to say that he has a constitutional right to protest and kneel because everybody believed that he was um, he was being anti-American and anti-veteran. Uh, this quote from Ralph D. Block from uh, Letters of National Anthem le, le, National Anthem Protest from the Philadelphia Inquirer on September no, September one two thousand sixteen. Um, the Declaration of Independence calls us to take a stand against our our government when it becomes a government oppression, thwarting the rights of citizens. There are too many instances of wrongs committed by government officials against minorities, especially young black men. It is our duty and Kaepernick's to take a stand by not standing, to enlighten our leaders but injustices their actions have caused. Now I have, I have spoken so far about the support and rapid growth of the allies he has built, but let's start talking about the people who are against this protest. Judgment at first was 
were the real uh, no real interpretation of, of Colin Kaepernick's re reasoning and music meaning of the whole situation. Cap received many negative uh, comments from reporters and people with political power, and even his own president president of the NFL, Roger Goodell, who had who said we very believe in strong we believe very strongly in the patriotism patriotism in the NFL. And and he he's not he also stated that he wasn't um, he's a, he's a, not a exactly against his protest, but um, because he is um, acting unpatriotic, he isn't against that. In conclusion, one simple act caused great turmoil over what seems to be a piece of history that might have great effect on our future, or it might have not, have not any effect at all. One thing is for certain, Colin Kaepernick is standing up for what he believes in, and no one can change what, he has, what views he has. The meaning of saluting to the flag and standing up and singing the national anthem is different for everyone because it might have insignificant meaning or measurable meaning. Whether you start, stand, sing, or sit, kneel, or even raise a fist, we have our right to do what's great. And that's the great thing about America. Thank you.